On now to entertainment news, the competition proper of the 69th Miss Universe is about to kick off in less than 24 hours. Is our very own Miss Philippines, Rabia Mateo, ready to take on the universe? Let's get the answer straight from MJ Marfori. She's joining us live from the News 5 studio. Uh, MJ, you spoke with Miss Philippines, Rabia Mateo, earlier uh, herself. Uh, how's she doing and uh, how do you think she's going to do? Well, Charles, yes, 7 a.m. Manila time and at nighttime in Florida, we did speak to Rabia before she embarks on her Miss Universe journey and before she gets locked in the Miss Universe bubble. Well, for the fans, don't you worry because she did train. It's her first time out of the country, but then she took a village with her, a village of stylists, mentors, and Jonas Gaffold, the beauty queen maker, uh, of course, uh, Jonas trained the awards back Capriona Gray during Capriona's start in the in pageantry, and now Rabia is in very good hands. With that, Rabia said she is nervous, but it is a good kind of pressure that she is feeling, and it is normal. We did ask her what her uh, what she's been doing recently before she embarks on her journey, and she did say that she is uh, talking to a lot other candidates on how they could stop online bullying because uh, Miss Canada and Miss Thailand, as well as Serbia, did uh, receive some backlash from intense beauty queen, beauty pageant fans, rather. And Rabia said that, honestly, during one point in her training, she did lose her identity and she had to undergo life coaching. And it really helped her redeem herself and her confidence. And with that, she's going to make a video about anti-bullying on social media, especially that the fire will start when the lock-in bubble of Miss Universe will be starting in Hollywood, Florida come tomorrow. She goes to her uh, hotel. Also, let's talk about her styling and her training. She said that please don't compare her to past winners because she is her own and she will not conform to the mold because she said she is unique and trying her best and she wants pageant fans to realize that most of her training was done online, Charles. So that's really hard, especially in this time of pandemic. But then again, she said that she is ready. She's going to give it her best fight. We've been seeing Rubia in the top five of the pageant vlogs, and that's really good. And one thing to note about this is that Rabia knows when to peak. So if right now we're not still feeling all the, the flames of her pasabog, so to speak, don't you worry because come competition, you will see a lot more unique surprises from Rabia. And if if the fans are asking about the national costume and her outfits when it comes to the competition, she said that she will veer away from the, the past trends and now she will focus on modern artistry of uh, Filipino designers instead of textiles. So that was the lowdown that Rabia gave us before she embarks on her journey for Miss Universe. Charles? All right, interesting, uh, MJ. We are less than 24 hours away from the competition proper, but then what's interesting is this anti-bullying campaign that you mentioned. Uh, could you give us more details on this? I understand that uh, Miss Philippines is reacting to this uh, as a result of what she has actually experienced. Now, could you tell us more about this? Yes, actually, besides Miss Philippines, and that has always been, since Miss her Miss Universe Philippines journey, she had, uh, she really did receive a lot of backlash, but of course, she grew out of it already. She She's owning it. She's talking to her core group of fans not to spread uh, lies and negativities online. And she's making sure that other candidates won't receive a backlash as well from Filipino fans because she wants to tell the world that Filipinos aren't like that. Because recently, Miss Canada did post a lot of the bashing she received from Filipino fans. And Rabia did say sorry on behalf of the Filipinos to Miss Canada. So with that, they created a group chat and they will make they will make a campaign with all other candidates on how to stop cyberbullying because pageant fans and especially Filipino pageant fans are very intense, Charles. So she will make sure that this is one of the highlights of her journey and she will make a separate video of hers as well that she will be uh, pointing out to Filipinos to, to chill, remain calm, and just enjoy the whole Miss Universe journey of Rabia Mateo. Charles. Said beauty pageant fans are definitely all watching and uh, are already watching. Thanks for those updates. I was MJ Marfori reporting live from the TV5 studio in Mandaluyong.